set for a while here. So don't be shy. Uh, I don't know any other time throughout the weekend. This is a very informal sort of place to go from my experiences uh, here last year. And uh, it's all about just getting to know people and music and all that. So, oh, Merle Park and a little bit, just kind of talking to your, the camera right there and we'll get some stuff all set up. So, how right. okay. close? Okay. Um, what's the purpose of having a, a Merrill Park reunion? Well, the, the actual purpose is the getting all the old people together that uh, and their children and everybody that was born or had some connection with Merrill Park. In the old days in Merrill Park, everybody was so connected and so friendly and kind, regardless of nationality or creed, we were all like a one happy family. But the Irish predominated because the railroad drew them in that direction many years ago after the Third War fire. Where was Merrill Park? Merrill Park is situated in an area. It's uh, it's uh, the south side of West Wisconsin Avenue to the Val Menominee Valley where the railroad is. It's from uh, the east side of 35th Street to the west side or the to the west side of 30th Street. Well, where did all the Irish go after they uh, after left they, Merrill Park? They well, they went all over. They got a very good education, and they were brought up and they were under uh, great parents, and uh, they all got a good education, had a lot of athletic ability, and met wonderful girls, and they spread all over. They're in Milwaukee. As a matter of fact, the people from Merrill Park are spread all over and all doing very well. Okay. How many people are coming tonight? As I understand, there's, they'll be good to 25, 30,000. That's what they un they say. Okay. Well, fine. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Very good, sir. Numbers <laughs> from his group, is it? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, let's get a. Let's get a. Do you see Lorraine Murphy in there? We don't want to have this. In, what kind of a background does it look like? You want some body? I hate okay. this. It's not my thing. I'd rather organize. Okay. So I'll kind of prime you and you just talk. <laughs> All right. Okay. Why a Merrill Park reunion and where are Merrill Parkers now? Looking for you, Bob. Merrill Parkers are all over this park right now. And um, Merrill Park is unique. Is that what you want to know? Why are we here? To come together and celebrate uh, in a joyful manner a community that is was alive and is still very much alive and, and a part of our city that was and still is quite unique. It's unique in the fact that it was primarily an Irish community and it was also a self-contained community. People were born, baptized, grew up, and were buried in, from Merrill Park. And that's true today, as the people in our program will give witness to. How old an area is Merrill Park? I think uh, Sherburn Merrill, um, probably the late 1870s. Uh, it became a subdivision or a, a known by the name Merrill Park because it, he owned it until he started selling it to the railroad workers who worked for him. Is there still a Merrill Park, a viable Merrill Park? Certainly is, and all these people are here to tell you. And another thing, once you're a Merrill Parker, you know, you're a Merrill Parker forever. We'll be giving a prize tonight for the person who came the farthest. We expect that to be Arizona, California, or Florida, maybe Alaska, but they'll be here and have a good time doing it. Why Irish Fest in Merrill Park? Irish Fest decided to have a Hooli night. Now you know what a Hooli is, I presume, but for the uneducated, a Hooli is a coming together of family and friends to celebrate in a joyful way by contributing all their talents to each other. As Merrill Park is part of the family, the lar uh, family at large, so they have to be here to celebrate the Hooli. It, Hooli is a party but it's a special kind of a party. Merrill Parkers are making this a special kind of a party. Great, good. I stutter, I, this is not Where did Bob go? I'm not. That's part of the problem. Inception. We're trying to do it. No, it's just busy right now. I mean, I think he'd be good. Yeah, we're right now. We're all day. We're 
You just kind of talk extemporaneously about how you got your family to Merrill Park. Maybe you could talk about that and how important the reunion is to you. Uh, I like this. Or I should talk loudly, you talk very right, loudly. about like that? Right. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And then just look right into him and I'll just prime you by saying why a reunion and what about your family in Merrill Park? Well, my family, my father's family moved out of the Third Ward after the Third Ward fire in uh, about 1903 or something like that and moved uh, to 30th Street uh, just north of Clyburn. And uh, my wife's family, they weren't Irish, unfortunately. It's a terrible thing to say, but it was a, a gang of Germans named Miller moved into uh, 30th, 31st and Clyburn uh, in 1915 and my wife was sleeps in the bedroom in which she was born and our daughter's getting married Saturday and we're selling the house to our daughter and her new husband and we're going to move out to Wauwatosa and desert Merrill Park and so this is kind of like you know a, a, a swan song a farewell. a farewell but after all the family's been there now for you know, in excess of three quarters of a century. So, uh, I think that's that's kind of what uh, many of the people around here uh, tonight think about the Merrill Park reunion. Okay, fine. That would be real helpful. Thank you. Uh, and I'm not going to prime you. You say hi. You know, my name is. Hi. <laughs> um, my name is Eamon O'Neill, and uh, this is quite the thrill for me to be here again this year. Last uh, year, of course, was the first Irish, um, uh, Irish Fest, and I had a ball of a time. I had a... It was such a revelation to me to think that Milwaukee could actually stage something quite of this magnitude. Most of the people I'd met in Milwaukee in the 17 years that I've been here are pretty well accustomed to, oh, Irish eyes are smiling kind of Irish. It has its place, but there's more to Ireland than just those traditional kind of songs that most Americans are familiar with. So seeing such fantastic groups as the Danan and uh, a few others that you had last year um, was really, really exciting for me. I had, uh, my children had a whale of a time here, my wife enjoyed it, and we are looking forward to another fine Irish fest this year. Where are you from? I originally came from um, Cork and settled in Milwaukee back in 65. A uh, logical stopping off spot for me was because uh, my sister lived here, still does in the vicinity, and uh, it's a nice town to live in, Milwaukee. I just returned from uh, two weeks in Ireland, and uh, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. <laughs> as, uh, as attractive as Ireland was this year, I, I, I still somehow find myself looking forward to, summer, uh, to Irish Fest. I saw Summerfest earlier, but uh, certainly this is, this is a highlight of our summer now. I hope it continues. Thank you. Yeah, no, we didn't actually drive them. We kind of walked them out. We didn't have cars back then. Yeah, right. No, no, that's not right. one. We walked them out on leashes, but I not even VWs were around then. I built Stonehenge. Yeah. You did not, you liar. You danger of being a tree kisser. I got this blister to No, 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 that blister is wrong since you. You have to go here. They didn't drive the snake car and they walked them out. We walked them out, they didn't have cars back then. You know, we all got a bunch of leashes. Yeah, you guys didn't memorize it. Yeah, get your hands yeah, out. Get your fancy yeah, bits out to be pouched. We're going to have one of those. That's us. Oh, that's us. That's us. That's what we are, yeah. That's us. So you want the Irish blessing, do you? Oh, sure. You're ready to give them the Irish blessing. No, no, no. No, no, no. The Irish blessing. You got to hold this dude. Ah! You got to hold this one. Now, be very careful. When you're holding that, don't say icky, icky, icky for taking me one ping, otherwise you turn into something horrible and nasty. Now you turn into a comedian, stand him up on his hind legs. <laughs> you know what that is, don't you? It's a stand up comedian. I didn't think so. So, what I did, the Irish blessing, the Irish blessing. Icky, icky, icky for telling me, 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 one ping. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that you live long and you have many children and you never get a hangover. <laughs> <laughs>
came here just to hear you. Why, listen, I'm the second, I'm the, I'm the second best county executive in the world. I agree with that. Say, this is something for the two, county, agree with that. Two, county, two county execs, if this isn't something. If that don't raise the taxpayers' money. Yeah. <laughs> two county execs. Three seconds. Merrill Park passed as represented by Mr. John Dugan. Merrill Park present by County Executive William O'Donnell. And Merrill Park future by Shannon Murray. work on this, went into past history about the boundaries of Merrill Park, the areas surrounding Merrill Park, but after coming down here tonight, spending an hour or two out with each and every one of you in the audience, I forgot all about it, because the boundaries doesn't mean a thing. Merrill Park exists everywhere. They invited us down here. Robert Lorraine said it's a holy night. So I said, what in the hell is a holy? And after they got to explaining it to me, well, all of us, we've been on our holy all our life. It's just a continuance of another holy. in Merrill Park was built by the railroad. After the Third Ward fire, a lot of them moved west. Most of the Irish. My mother and dad came from Ireland. My dad was in the Third Ward and my dad was in the Fourth. My father lived at Pat Crowley's saloon in the Third Ward and my mother, who was a Crowley, lived with the Mahegans family in the Fourth. <laughs> Eventually, they met, although he, they did, he did know her brothers in Ireland. And I was born. I'm very happy. I hope you all are too. Marquette Stadium, they shagged us out. But I'm a relatively newcomer in Merrill Park, which is 25 years ago that my wife and I moved into Merrill Park area. I was born and raised in Torrey Hill. My family's been down in the Torrey Hill neighborhood since 1850 or 1845. Unfortunately, as you come down on the expressway and you look around, there isn't an awful lot left of Torrey Hill. Thank God there's something left of Merrill Park. 
I don't think you can live in the Merrill Park area without thinking of the people that came before us, that built the parish with a great deal of sacrifice, with an awful lot less than we have today. They really made a sacrifice to raise their, to support their church, to build their schools, to take care of their families. It's a type of sacrifice, unfortunately, that we forgot how to do. If we would learn from our grandparents and our great-grandparents of the tremendous sacrifice that we can make for our families, many of our young families wouldn't be coming apart at the seams. We're not even too concerned maybe about a protest group that may be marching at your house. But I understand, Bill, that in the past, and even tonight, you're a little bit concerned about being here on stage with the embodiment of Merrill Park future.
ugly. You don't like it? It's too bad for you. You're ugly as sin. You pig. Out of my way. Wicked. <laughs> 